Okay, we have found ourselves in the stinkiest of situations. We are wearing the NVG-10, and we have an enemy over there that we have to eliminate. Let's go through this process here purely experimentally and see what we can do. I have the IR set to level two right off the bat because if we cycle through here, there's IR three, which looks quite good actually. The target probably 30 plus yards away, but IR one can barely see to the target but quite frankly, that's about, that's just slightly better than naked eyesight. IR2, I think that's a sweet spot. We can see the fireflies and everything. So we'll stick with level two on the IR, which bear in mind that we'll be putting a very dim but noticeable red LED glow to the enemy. It's where they could see that. Then I have my training rifle here with the OSS silencer. We also have the LS321 aiming laser. Now let's get that back in focus just like so. Now let's experiment with <laughs> if you had to find yourself in such a serious situation here maybe we are not even moving in this case. That's for the advanced NVG-10 enjoyer. Let's go ahead and just raise a rifle up. So there's already something that I haven't taken into account before. If you raise the rifle up, look at that. Considering the illumination being produced by the NVG-10, you raise it up, it washes the rest of the image out to where the only thing in your focus is your actual rifle. So in order to aim, you have to make sure that you don't raise the rifle up too high where it will take up your whole image. So that's something to take note of. And I guess that also completely eliminates, believe it or not, I have the IR setting on my reticle on this uh, primary arms 3x prism with the acss raptor <clears throat> so you can't obviously aim even with that how about with a different ir setting can you even see through with the ir off let's see so i am looking i can't even really tell if i'm looking behind it or not I'm going to say that we cannot actually aim passively, which that would have actually been pretty cool, to be honest. Let's go ahead. I mean, we can see, I mean, we can see with a IR-1. Let's try that. So right off the bat, we know not to let the rifle get up into our field of view. Let's go ahead and engage. This is the LS-321 laser with the illuminator as well aiming below the field of view so that it doesn't take up the image but we have the illuminator and laser on this is at about a little over 30 yards what you just heard there is the mantis blackbeard dry fire system <laughs> and i mean we could put hits on Bear in mind, this is IR-1. Interesting. So it's doable. Let's go ahead to IR-2. I like that more. Wow. It's an interesting effect that the Illuminator has. Let's see if I can even adjust the LS321 
through the NVG-10. There we go. Okay. So I obviously can't read it. I'm going to go based off of memory alone and say I think that's the... There we go. The Illuminator only. My goal is... Let's see what the laser only looks like if we're already using the onboard IR. Okay, so that's illuminator only. So there's a lesson learned. Not really necessary to use the illuminator on the aiming laser. We're already using it on board the NVG-10. And there's a laser. So if you already have to use your illuminator built into the NVG-10, not really a point in using the aiming illuminator. So you can go laser only. Let's just get this back in focus. Do some basic up drills. That latency does not help. Let's go for some headshots. Not gonna lie, I think I'd rather just go white light at this point. If this were any real situation, obviously. And we haven't even incorporated any, any movement into it. If we did that. very quick. Well, I believe that we learned some lessons tonight. I basically already covered in another video the real world emergency uses that I'd find for the NVG-10. And one of them was not fighting with a rifle. <laughs> and I think that this was a good experiment kind of demonstrating why that's the case. But it's not useless. And I can currently see better with it than without it. It has its place, but I don't know if it's necessarily here. Interesting experiment, though, with some lessons learned. Cheap night vision with cheap laser aiming module. I mean, could you shoot with it? Yeah. I'd rather honestly just go white light. There we have it.